All right, Gemini, Gemini, let's do a general read for you this week. Let's see what's going on. Um, <clears throat> we're going to look at your current energy, desire, outcome, what's working for you, and what you may need to be aware of. So let's see what your predominant energies are <clears throat> this week. Ooh, Ten of Cups, somebody's in that beautiful energy of feeling full with life that all of their sort of heart's desires are met. The desire is the king of swords. Uh, so for some of you, this may be that you're looking at going into some type of schooling uh, to upgrade. Others, it may be that um, you're trying to uh, be very clear in your head about what you want. And then this brings us to the outcome of the Ace of Wands, so a completely new start. What's working for you is the King of Wands. This is an individual that takes action. Uh, they're usually very uh, entrepreneurial, very dynamic. They're constantly on the go and very busy. And then what you need to be aware of is justice. And this could be that there, for some of you, this could be a relationship that's falling apart. Uh, it could be some type of legal issues or just the need for uh, major balance in, in, <clears throat> in several areas of your life. So let's go through and start to clarify what each of these are meaning. Wow, this is really nice. Um, we have temperance, Ten of Pentacles, Six of Swords, clarifying the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups, it's like happy life, happy, just happy. Everything is really good. Um, I almost see it's like be patient with the legacy part of everything with the Ten of Pentacles here. It's coming. Uh, it's taking work. It's coming. Uh, and things will start to go and flow better as you start to realize that. This is the King of Swords. Let's go into the King of Swords. It seems like you're in this desire of trying to figure out what to do and how to take advantage of a new start. It could be that for some of you, you're starting some type of new venture. You've got the knowledge to do it. You're just kind of unsure if you should. This brings us to the Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands, of course, is a completely new start. <clears throat> and we have the Wheel of Fortune that shows up. We have the Page of Wands and the High Priest. This new start is a completely new cycle for you. Um, this is bringing a big change in which you've been waiting for, and somebody seems to be involving uh, guiding you. But at the same time, I see for some of you, this would be that as things are starting to change, there's news that's coming in. It's almost like there's news of marriage for some of you. That's what this new start is. Uh, the King of Wands shows up in what's working for you. <clears throat> Why is the King of Wands here? Please clarify. So we have the King of Swords, the Queen of Swords show up. The Queen of Swords, um, so for some of you, this could be a an individual that you're actually taking, because we have the King and Queen that showed up, this is an individual that you're taking action towards. You see that there is uh, much to be had. It might be a little rocky at first, <clears throat> but at the same time, uh, sort of everything in its infancy is as you start to figure out how it works, what to do with it. Um, there's a lot of thinking, a lot of clarity 
um, a lot of uh, analytical things that's starting to happen because of this individual. <clears throat> it kind of makes you a little crazy by the looks of it with the uh, King of Wands here, but uh, you're taking action towards it. Why is justice here? Well, justice is that card that I typically see uh, as balance. Uh, and that can be like fairness within something. You need to be fair with one another. Uh, we have the Tower, the Six of Wands, and the Queen of Pentacles that shows up. Excuse me. Um, the Six of Wands. As you're going through this and things start to balance out, there comes a moment in time with the Tower here where you can see that there's a lot of success and achievement from what you've put in and how you've thought things through. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles. <clears throat> and it allows you to go and realize how capable you really are through this. But you need to balance... Um, I just want to say you need to balance the process to work in your favor. Um, or maybe it's for some of you, it's balancing uh, the work and reward. Uh, let's pull three more cards around this. Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, and the Queen of Wands. Okay, so... We've had the King and Queen of Wands show up. We've also had the King and Queen of Swords show up. So for some of you, this could be... This could be, for some of you, uh, a scenario where you are leaving one situation and going into another. Um, sort of <clears throat> what I get is like the, the Queen of Swords is um, kind of being left for the King of Swords, or sorry, uh, for the Queen of Wands. Uh, but let's, if we look at this, this is this Knight, Knight of Pentacles. They're on their path, they're on their purpose, uh, and you're moving in, moving out, or moving on with somebody that you just thought was like sort of the bell of the ball is kind of what I get. Uh, that's what I have for you today, Gemini. I invite you to uh, subscribe, like, or dislike. Either way, I'm glad you were here. For those that uh, have subscribed, uh, thank you for doing so. I do appreciate it. And we will talk to you next time.